Hey, today I'm gonna show you my new sewing machine. It's Singer Futura 580. It's a sewing machine, embroidery, and quilting machine. It came from this big box. It's uh, 28 by 25 by 20 inches. And there's two more boxes inside separating the machine and the embroidery part. Okay, so this is the machine. I got it from sewingmachinesplus.com. It's a 580. I want it all, but except for the the Dell. Refurbished Dell computer, laptop. So its measurement is 22 inches, almost 22, 22 inches long. It's 13 inches high and it's... Hmm, nine inches wide and it's quite heavy it's quite heavy um, I think on the package it said it's uh, 50 pounds all of it with all of the things with it so now I'll go over with the softwares with it and the rest of the things okay as for the software this is the key they call it singer key it's it's a USB flash drive. It has three uh, three programs with it inside. Instead of getting three CDs, you're going to get this USB for easier um, download. This includes the Hyperfont software, Auto Punch, and editing software. So everything's in here now. This is the difference between the Futura 550 and 580 because it has a USB. This is one of the difference. And also, you'll get the 3,900 um, designs, the auto cross stitch, uh, the Floriani stabil stabilizing solutions with K Brooks. I also have another one. It's um, the photo stitch, but it was included in the. Uh, delivery so I called sewingmachinesplus.com for that and they're gonna send it okay so now we're gonna go over the things that were with the machine okay so these are the compartments for the machine there's two so you got lots of space see that you can put some here and here at the back Okay. Okay, so for th this one are the ones for maintaining the machine. This is the screw for the needle plate. And the other screws for changing the presser foot and for yeah, for the presser foot and for the needle. The brush and the seam ripper. And you got here the foot, presser foot. Okay. This one's for the buttonhole and its plate. Blind hem foot. A huge satin foot. A button foot. Zipper foot and darning for embroidery. And we have uh, the spool holder felt for the spools too, and needles. This is like regular needle 9040 for medium weight fabrics. Uh, the net for spools for embroidery spool, so it won't. The thread won't slide, and we have spools. Ah, sorry, these are bobbin bobbins. It's 15J, and you got six plus. There's one extra at the uh, bobbin case, and this is an extra for a for the for another spool and scissors. 
These three were uh, classified as the embroidery parts that came from this bag, this vinyl bag. They all came together this way. So you have an extra bag. Now, these are the stitches for the machine. The stitches available. At the back. This is the reference guide. I was gonna buy the XL550 but uh, I thought this was better when I talked to the sales representative. So yeah. Okay another difference with the sewing machine from the other model the 550 and 580 is this. Um, this goes here So this is how it looks like when it's further. Let's see. Here, this is for hands, how uh, hands-free sewing. Oops, you can't show it. So if you're sewing, instead of doing this to lift the presser foot up and down, you can use this. You can use it when you're sitting down. You can just push it. That's one of the main differences with the uh, 550 and 580. And also there's another difference, it's also because of that USB and because of the embroidery hoops. This has the endless embroidery hoop. Okay, now this is the box included with the I Want It All special. It's a Madeira rayon box. It has lots of thread. Yeah, it's down. It has lots of thread with it. Um, there are, I think, 80. 80 of them. And you get this CD. You get a CD for it with embroidery designs. It has 82 embroidery designs. And another needle for embroidery. You have, and also you have the bobbin fills. And you can also thread this box. You can use this directly. You can thread it and use it to thread the machine. And this one, this is the Madeira stabilizer package. Um, they ran out, so I didn't get one, but they said they're gonna ship it as soon as they get uh, stocks. This is another program that was with the I Want It All package that I didn't get because it's downloadable, so I don't have the CD for it. Just go online and um, download it. The other program is this. It's the Thread Converter Pro. It if you don't, if it also gets downloaded from their website. This is when you use the software to do the colors. It converts the colors from the software to the thread. Uh, yeah, the thread number. So it can. I think it has 14 different manufacturers, it says here, so it converts to uh, Sulky, Kingstar, Brother, DMC, and Gutterman, and all those stuff. So it will be easier for you to look for the exact color from the computer to your project. Now these are the embroidery uh, of attachments and the hoops with it. So this is quite heavy. This is the one used for the embroidery. This is where the hoop goes. I'll show that later. This is the large hoop. And I believe it's, I don't know how big it is. I'll check and tell you later. This is the small hoop. And this is the endless hoop, which is the upgrade from 550 to 580. This is the one. This is also one of the main differences between the 550 and 580. So to change this uh, sewing machine to the embroidery machine, we just need to pull this part out and insert this. But 
from here on this side the machine at the back part this is the back part of the machine you need to open this first and to open it you need to slide it there then we can push this until it clicks there. and to check if we're in just pull this part at the back or at the side and it won't pull so we got it locked so to insert the hoop we need to take off the the foot first by unscrewing it on the side oh and by the way the large hoop the size of the large hoop is 6 by 10 inches the small hoop is 4 by 4 inches and the the endless hoop is 7 by 4 inches those are the sizes okay, you just need to unscrew this Then get the darning foot for embroidery. Okay, now to insert the hoops, get the hoops and you see this side opposite where the screw is. This is the top, it says top here. Well, if you can see it, it says top, so this goes on top. Make sure the presser foot is up, then push this forward to lift it, then lock these in between. Oh, the side on the side make sure that this part the elevated part gets through this and just slide it through and it'll click there that's locked so that's how you insert your hoop then to take it off um, press this Okay. Then to hoop for the hoop to pass through, you need to push this again forward. So that's how you put the hoops. Okay, so this is my first embroidery machine. Um, I tried working with it. We're still getting to know each other. Um, I'll show you what I did. Um, this was what I was doing uh, the second day I got this machine because I didn't open it right away. Uh, I opened it, but I just checked whatever was missing and not so that the to let them know that I didn't get it. So this is the one I started with. It's a Tweety. I started with this with no problems, and by the time it got here. So I just start the press the start button. I connected my computer, um, transferred the design, press the start button, and it went well at first. And when it got here at Tweety's arm and body, um, the needle, uh, oh, the thread at the top just keeps on uh, breaking and breaking and breaking. I don't know the reason. At the back, what happened is this. 
So there are lots of threads at the back. So I just stop and try to do another one again with a different uh, fab with the same fabric and the same uh, stabilizer, but like a different set of it. And it's not working anymore. So I called sewing sewingmachinesplus.com. So they'll help me soon. I know it because they're really helpful. This is not the first time I bought a machine from them and you'll get all the support you need. So for now, I'll hold for my projects for a while and wait for them to call me back. Yeah, but so far it did good. I guess I was doing something wrong. I just don't know. I'm not aware of. So as for the rest that uh, comes with it is this, the foot. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. And the USB. This one's uh, the one connected to your computer and this one's connected to the machine. And this is for the power. And the manual. You get the manual. I printed this out from the computer. Because you need to install um, the update first for Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8 first before you uh, insert and install the USB. And you got this for the warranty. This one's for uh, Synchrony if you get the uh, financing for it. Information for uh, warranties. This one's for the service centers. This came with it too for the software installation. And this one's a quick guide to thread the machine. It's two pages. I ripped it off. Accidentally. So that what I'm showing you now is at the side of the machine. So the power cord goes here at the uh, at the at the furthest part at the back. And next is this for the foot for the pedal. This goes here. They're separate. And this one's for the USB cable. This goes here. And the on and off switch. So now I just want to show how show you how bright it is when you turn it on. There. It's bright. It has the lights. And uh, I'm now I'm just going to show you a quick view of the machine closer. So, uh, here's the top. The speed. You can control the speed. This is for the controls. This is where you put the, the one I showed you earlier. You could just take it off as a cover. On the side, the wheel, the side, the top is for uh, winding the bobbin, and the guide, and another guide. Now, this is the back part of the machine. So, I hope this is helpful. Um, thank you so much. Well, if you have any questions, I guess I can answer it if I can. Um, if you want this machine, I don't know if I can um, endorse it to you right now because I haven't had the answers to that problem. But so far it works good. It works well. I don't think there's a problem with the machine. I think there's a problem with me. Even with, even if I do follow the instructions, I might have missed something, I don't know. So thank you very much, and please like the video if you want. Thank you.